Welcome back to part three of the tutorial on toning and adjusting images and applying color management for newsprint reproduction. Uh, this is the toning and image, adju image adjustment part. Uh, what we've gone through so far in part one was an intro of why it's important. Uh, newsprint's definitely much different than other medias. It's printed on white paper and or gray paper like a gray stock round wood instead of a white stock it's cold set printing and there's a lot of dot gain and it's a very tricky medium so you have to adjust and then the second part of the series uh, we just showed you how to do some effective image resolution and how to uh, apply your color management and get into the proper CMYK color space to get ready for the toning part now this will just be a real quick down and dirty part on toning uh, there like I've said before there's a bunch of different ways out there to tone you could probably google up some ways you could do non-destructive this is just the quickest way from my experience to get to where you need in order to achieve some results in the world of newspaper advertising printing um, it's worked over and over again but there also is um, there's nothing you could do with a bad image. If you got a, if you start with a bad image to begin with, you're dead in the water. Uh, the image actually that I'm using right now is probably one of the worst images, which is why I went with this particular image. Um, is to show you, um, it, it was already dark to begin with and muddy, so um, I figured that that was a good start. The next image that I do in the next tutorial to show you how quick this could be, and I could probably run through it in less than a minute as opposed to five minutes, is uh, will be a little bit more of the photo quality you should be used to. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And now that we're already in the color space and we have a color profile applied, let's go ahead and make some adjustments and levels. I want to open up levels, as you can see here. This is shadow area, this is mid-tone area, and this is your highlight area. If the levels were to start here in the shadow area, you'd want to move this slider in to hit those levels. And if the levels were to start here in the highlight area, you'd want to move this slider over to reach those levels, at right at the, and you want to stop it right at the start of the levels. Uh, with this particular image, you could see how much you know plug-in and dot gain there is, and how much weight there is in the shadow and three-quarter tone area well we want to balance that weight out and this is like a fulcrum and if that elephant that you see in the picture were on this side of the seesaw it would make these highlights jump through the roof well we want to balance this out and this is the fulcrum in which we'll do that with so we'll want to put that fulcrum right under the weight of that elephant right there and balance that out and already you can see we've got noticeable detail coming back into the picture and that's actually sucking the weight out and doing what we needed to do for newsprint. Next we'll go into curves to try and uh, deplete some of this flatness and we'll try and create a real nice S curve and bring back some of that detail and um, get some more depth to it. So as you can see We've got some depth going on here and some shadow areas coming back in. And then the third thing I like to do is I, I call this my pre-sharp and I'll hit brightness and contrast and I'll just touch on the brightness and just touch on the contrast. And that starts to already dig in and separate those dots and bring them to the front to get ready for the, the sharpening filter that I'm about ready to apply to it and the sharpening for newsprint reproduction is just really really harsh and this is where I, you get the most criticism if you've destroyed the photo actually you have to trust me here in newsprint this works really well and I suggest a radius of 1.5 to 2.5 an amount between 150 and 200 uh, just eyeball it you'll start to get the feel of it after a while and a threshold between 8 and 12 so we'll go with 8 and you can see you know how it's popping off the page and don't worry this does reproduce well in newsprint so we went from that to that and that will take us into our next tutorial where I will run through this a little bit quicker to show you just how quick this can be done and then uh, we'll wrap up from there uh, but definitely join me in the next tutorial where we talk about uh, 
proof view and closing this out. Thanks.